make sense. Your body ought to know who's who and who's not. Well, your whole immune system is set up to figure out who is you and who is not. And that is an extremely important task. And that task is done by a whole network of different cells known as the immune system. Indeed, when you're born, your body determines who is you and who is not. And, and the immune system becomes tolerant of, of who is you. When there's an external attacker, like a bacteria, the antibodies are produced to, to destroy that. But when there is a subtle threat, such as a, one of your own cells transforming into a tumor, or a virus or a fungus living in your cells, altering your cells, then it takes a very subtle immune system to detect that there's a difference and to uh, recognize and attack those altered cells. When your immune system becomes confused, perhaps because you're stressed, because you have a virus, because you have multiple things going on, multiple infections or, you know, or vaccinations or medications, and you also have some other exposure to something that looks like some particular cell or cell component, you can become sensitized to that thing that looks a little bit like yourself. And with the confusion from something else going on, you can attack your own cells by mistake. And that's what we call autoimmune uh, inflammation. And so it takes a number of different conditions and just the wrong set of circumstances so that perhaps a bacteria or virus coming in looks a little like some particular cell in your body that can cause this reaction. An example would be that certain viruses can cause an attack of the cells in the pancreas that make the insulin. And then you get type 1 diabetes. There are a whole number of examples that are known, and there are probably millions more that have not been recognized. So these are some of the ways that autoimmune conditions can arise, and your body might even attack itself.